AFTV Guna Lee, you just he just said before the interview, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> and it is good, man. That was impressive today, wasn't it? You know what? Before anything, I do want to, you know, congratulate um, Arteta. I think he's his 100th win today. I think out of 167 games, he's taken, or obviously he's taken his amount of time and he's obviously got there. So congratulations to him. Congratulations to the team. 11 wins out of 14 away from home. Can't complain. Like, mm. it's it's... It's mind blowing to see and think about where we were last season and you know where we've come to now, where we literally look like we are going to win the league, and it's it's looking promising. I know you've been asking everyone else, can we win the league? Of course we can win the league, a hundred percent. Will we win the league? I do think we will, but it's going to be very very close. It's going to be very very close. But today, you know, performances like today, you cannot look anywhere other than Arsenal. Like the way we're playing. It's almost like that sort of like Harlem Globetrotters football. You know, you think about um, American basketballers when they kind of go around the world and, you know, they do these, those crazy dunks and stuff. That's the way that Arsenal are playing. It's like that Choco Benito football. Um, I can't really pick a standout player and I'm, I don't know how you're going to do player ratings because I think <laughs> everyone's got to get a 10. Even Ramsdale, he made a few mistakes, but even he's got to get a 10. So I don't know how you're going to do it, how, they, how you're going to do your player ratings, but it's it's really, really good to see. Really, man. really good. And that was a tricky game on paper, wasn't it? A lot of people wrote that down. I'm sure a lot of Man City fans mm. would have settled down today with a little beer by them side mm. on mm. a Sunday, little Sunday roast and say, right, Arsenal, over to you, man. This is tricky, but... It was light work in the end, wasn't it? Well, listen, if you were at home watching a bit of um, Arsenal and you had your Sunday roast, you've seen real football now. So well done, Man City. <laughs> well done, Man City. So like that was really, really good. And you know what? I want to speak on a few things because we've now got, I believe, our best player back. And I think he's going to make such a difference. Your second today. coming, they were saying. Sec- listen, <laughs> they, they, someone said it's a day, today is a month before Easter. And I don't know if it's blasphemy <laughs> or not, but listen, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't know how you want to pronounce him, but he's back. He's back. He's and back. and he, he, you know what? He came on, he had a little 15 minute cameo and I think he created like three chances. He should have scored a goal. Mm. And I'm sure people are going to, can't wait to clip that up. But what he brings to the team is just something that you can't measure. You can't put on a piece of paper. There are no stat sheets for what he can do. He was absolutely excellent. And you know what? I, my main thing I want to concentrate on today is Saka wasn't amazing today. But where we are as a team, we don't need him to be amazing every game. He wasn't actually great against Sporting as well, but that's the way that we are playing. And that's but that's like, a good thing, isn't it? When, when somebody can not be quite... Well, well actually, when you're not dependent there upon one player. And go. I think Arsenal throughout this season... I've shown that over the seasons, over the last couple of years, we have been dependent on Saka, Smith Rowe last season. Yeah. We were dependent upon them and and, and Partey. Mm. But th- we're showing now that there's not a one dependency on w- one mm-hmm. single player. Mm. Well, if you think about it, we were sort of a one-man wrecking band with Aubameyang. Yeah. We then moved and we were sort of really reliant on someone like Saka and obviously the likes of ESR. And now we have so many other options and we've got, I think I read a stat out earlier on on, on the watch along. We've got uh, three players that have got 10 plus goals in Odegaard, mm. uh, Martinelli and Saka. And then literally every player in the team scored a goal. Uh, you, you go. st- yeah, yeah. But most importantly, the only other team in Europe that's done that is PSG with Messi, mm. Mbappe and Neymar. That's the levels that we're working with now. That is the current crop of players that we've got. You've got Man City that are really reliant on one player. We're sharing the goals out. So, Listen, man, it's all good. It's all nice right now. And it's going to be um, it's going to be 11 cup finals. I don't know if my heart can take it. The palpitations are going to be um, going through the roof because it's going to be really, really tough because we have got some difficult games. We spoke about April, how we got some hard games, but you got to back the team, man. Away from home, and as I said, 11 wins out of 14. I can't go wrong, man. Listen, up the Arsenal. Ars- uh, listen, it's, it's going to be it's going to be sticky, but I'm, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm going to think, I'm going to back the team. I'm going to back the team because we're going to be there. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.